Welcome back. Sunday, Sycamore guard Trenton Gibson celebrated his senior day at the Holman Center. Despite being surrounded by loved ones, he was missing someone very important to him. Graduate transfer Trenton Gibson came to Indiana State this year with a heavy heart. It would be hard for me to have more respect for a human being than I do for Trent. Gibson chose his final year of college basketball at ISU just months after his 30-year-old half-brother, Nick Manio, had passed away from complications from the effects of COVID. The first, you know, close person that I've, I've lost um, in my life and, you know, uh, for someone to be that close to me and, you know, losing, that's very hard. And I just think, uh, you know, I really didn't know how to handle it. Um, it wasn't something that say, I was hiding from, but it was just something that I just didn't understand. Like most, the death of a sibling was hard on Trenton, especially as close as he was to Nick. In a way, he was really a, a big leader and a big um, inspiration in my life, um, showing me what to do and, you know, like I said, what not to do. And I think, um, you know, he's a big reason, you know, uh, why I am who I am today. Despite having opposite interests in life, one thing Trenton always knew, wherever he played, Nick was supporting him. I think he's always been proud of me, you know, um, and, you know, he used to come to my games, cheer me on, things like that. So just uh, being able to, you know, know that he's up there, you know, looking down on me. You have to think Nick was with Trenton recently. In the Sycamores game, February 15th at the University of Illinois, Chicago, it marked the one-year anniversary of his brother's passing. Trenton went out that night in the video you're watching and played one of the best games of the season, scoring 14 points, grabbing six rebounds and three assists in an ISU win. If him that night, uh, a night like that against UIC, really be the best player on the floor uh, one year, you know, after that, and it, it, it's pretty cool. Especially that night he was with me, and, you know, I text my mom after, you know who that was for. Um, but I just think, you know, uh, he, he's been with me this whole time, and it, it, uh, I wouldn't necessarily say I'm playing for him, but um, I know he's with me, and, and that just gives me all the energy I, I have. Gibson says he'll always be thankful to head coach Josh Schertz and ISU for giving him an opportunity through one of the toughest stretches of his life. The Indiana State in general um, just giving me this opportunity to, uh, I don't want to say change my life, but you know, uh, give me in a good direction and gain. Gibson has been one of the guys that helped ISU men's basketball get back in the right direction this season as the Sycamores head to Arch Madness this week with their best record in almost a decade. Despite the roller coaster of emotions over the last year, Gibson feels lucky to have this opportunity. I'm feeling like the most blessed person in the world right now. We're playing for a chance to go to NCAA tournament here soon. That's, you know, been one of my dreams my whole life.